I was used to adapting. That hasn't. That's never been a problem for me. Is if I'm thrown in a certain situation, I can figure out how to get out of it and, and make the most of it. So when I went home for that long break, I kind of just worked out. I mean, I knew I had to work out, so I just went through a whole mental process of what I was going to do, how I was going to do it, when I was going to do it, what time I was going to do it. So I was able to work everything out, and I actually worked. I would, I'd like to say I worked harder when I was home than when I had came here. The workouts were not easy. The workouts here are definitely hard, but I would say it took a, a little bit of slack off from when I was what I was doing at home. And that was the longest I've been home in four years. So I definitely wasn't used to it being home for two months. But you know, we had those Zoom meetings online. I was sent playbooks, just, just getting my body right for the season, knowing the situation I was walking into. Josh Palmer was walking into an unusual season as a leader of the wideouts. But he was prepared after playing with VFL's Marquez Callaway and Jawan Jennings. You know, they they taught me a lot of stuff that they may not have known, because I'm very observant, so in terms of just being on the football field and seeing the things that they do, I was able to suck up a lot of it and soak it all up and, and dish it out while I was training. And, you know, just, just as a leader, you know, Juwan was very vocal and Marquez was quite the opposite, but Marquez always had a huge smile on his face and was always so positive. I was able to grow from, from the both of them. And, I mean, with them not being here, it's, it's different, you know, because I'm, I'm used to just walking in with them in the meeting rooms and stuff like that, but I was able to adjust. Here in town, back to throw. First down, guns it right side to Palmer, and he catches it in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee! And Josh Palmer hauls it in for a Tennessee touchdown. I'm never satisfied. It doesn't matter what I achieve, I'm never satisfied, because I always think the more can, there's more to be done. I'm happy that I'm having a better season than last year, but when I, I look at things in the big picture and I know what I, know what I could do, and I feel like that's, that's not even scratching the surface yet. I know I could do more, so the four touchdowns is fun, but I don't I don't really look at it or the production that I put up because I know I could do a lot more. So like I said before, I'm, I'm never satisfied. And I mean, sometimes it hurts me because sometimes I'm too hard on myself, but I know there's way more I could prove. When my family's helping me stay focused and motivated, uh, just being with the team, just wanting to win. You know, I've always come from winning teams in the background, so. Winning definitely does drive me and just growing and becoming a better football player. Like the other day, I was outside with DBs for about an hour just talking releases and stuff. So I'm always looking for things to get better and grow from every day. Even though Palmer is continuously striving for greatness, he's been able to make a name for himself this season. Through nine games, he's had 30 receptions for 420 yards and four touchdowns more touchdowns than his first three seasons combined. But it's the people surrounding Josh who he credits helping him become the player he is today. You know, I was able to learn playbooks, not only the plays, but learning why to do certain things with the different coaches that I've had at, at the receiver position. Uh, just like I said before, I mentioned Marquez and Juwan and beat Brandon Johnson. You know, just a lot of, a lot of receivers always around, Josh Smith. They were able to teach me different things and I was able to pull pieces from them and finally grow and understand how to put it all together. My ball leaders class, that class really taught me a lot on how to become a better leader. And just being around young freshmen every every year, just being able to show them the things that I that I was taught uh, before they came in. Showing guys right from wrong, installs, you know, just, just how to become a better person. You know, just being in Knoxville is kind of Reminds me of being back home, being, it's calm. Uh, it's kind of like the suburbs, not much of a, a big city. Just going out and competing every day with my, with my teammates, you know, it's been, it's been a great ride. For the Jeremy Pruitt Show, I'm Casey Funderburg.